Hello crafters, this is Yana Smakula. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Christmas card to share featuring new Christmas 2021 products from Spellbinders. I know we're only in July and I'm already talking Christmas. But truth be told, Christmas is my favorite holiday and if I could make Christmas cards all year long, I would. Spellbinders has some absolutely incredible collections for Christmas 2021 launching today. There are several collections, all simply fabulous and very, very inspiring. I have links to all of the products in my video description below and I encourage you to check them out. You're going to love them. My favorite collection from this release, however, is the Open House collection. It's a small one, just four products, but wait until you see it. So the main die in this collection is the front door die. Now, if you're a club member for Spellbinders, you might remember a door die from last year. It was called Always Welcome, and it was a large die of the month for October 2021. Well, guess what? That door die coordinates with all of the die cuts in this collection. So if you have that door, you can mix and match the pieces from that door with the other decorative pieces from this collection. Now I have that die, I love it. I've shared several cards using it and there's also a video on my YouTube channel showing how to put it together. So you can say, I'm a big fan. Now that door, the always welcome door, it has a hinge so you can actually open it. The door in this collection in the open house, it's just a door, it doesn't open. So that's basically the main difference, but there's also a difference in the door design. So the open house collection has the front door die. So it's one die set. Now the door has side panels, side windows, and those are very long windows like French windows. So that's another set. There's also a set with the steps and the steps have inserts, sentiment inserts that you can put inside and have a different sentiment for your card. And there's also a set with a topiary that you can add next to your door. So seriously, very cool collection and very well designed. Now the door itself is designed to go on an A2 card. It fits perfectly on an A2. If you add the steps to your door, you can make your card into a slimline, a mini slimline or a full size slimline card as the steps really extend the scene. And then again, you have the side window. So you can have one on each side or you can even have several window panels on one side to create bigger windows. And then there's a topiary. It's like another must have from this collection. Now, what's really cool about this collection is that it's not necessarily a Christmas one. It's actually an everyday collection. These products can be used all year round and only the sentiments in the steps set are Christmas sentiments. Everything else is designed for everyday cards. I went ahead and did all of my die cutting off camera. I used some specialty paper for cutting the pieces, the white wood grain paper for the door to add the wooden texture to my die cuts, the rose gold paper from Tonic Studios to add metallic details to the metallic pieces. I have links to all of the products I'm using today in the video description below, as well as links to all of the new Christmas collections from Spellbinders, and I encourage you to check them out. They're seriously fantastic. Now, the main door set has many pieces to embellish the door, and all of the pieces are separate, allowing you to really customize the look of your door die kit. Now, be sure to emboss the door itself, as that will add beautiful detail and it will make the door look very real, just like a mini uh, miniature door. There's also a mail slot and a door handle and you can add to your project, to your door, and I always like to cut those from some sort of metallic cardstock to make them look a little bit more real. Now, I wanted to make a Christmas door, of course, so the colors I went with are white, red, green, light blue, and vibrant blue for the background. I added big red bows onto the windows on my door. These were cut out using pieces from the topiary set, and I also die cut the Merry Christmas sentiment in the steps. I love how the steps are designed, adding score lines and then everything you need to make them look very real. When you cut the pieces from metallic cardstock, you can especially see all of the score lines and details that the dies add, making these die cuts very realistic. 
You even have the die to cut the banister and the handrail, and you can cut those from different colors of cardstock, allowing for more customization. I debated making mine white or red, the handrail, and I ended up going with red, which I do like better for a Christmas card. I also added the foliage. It is included in the main door base. And I also cut flowers from red cardstock to look like poinsettias, although these aren't the correct shape for poinsettias, but I figured I could still use them on my card and have them look like poinsettias on a Christmas door. I used my tool-in-one and the medium stylus tip and shaped the flowers. For this, I placed them on a pencil eraser. I like to use it because it is like a soft surface. And then I press the centers of the flowers with a stylus shaping them. So I have actually two tool-in-one tools. I have one, uh, the new tool, which is brown with the pick and the brush. And, and then the other, my old tool-in-one, I have it permanently set up with a stylus tip so that I can shape my flowers. Now, this way, once the flowers are shaped, they look a little bit better. They look a little bit more realistic. They have a bit of a curve to them. They aren't flat. I also finally tested the new tweezers from Spellbinders. I know I've mentioned these a while back, but I finally got around to playing with them. These are phenomenal to pick up and place little tiny pieces like these flowers I feel like these are must-have when working with a little die kits. And Spellbinders does have a lot of tiny pieces in their die sets. Next, I used a set called Shopping Spree from another collection. I think this one is from the Be Merry collection from Spellbinders, also releasing today. So I used that set to die kit several gifts to place on the top step. Now, I didn't like how the top step was completely empty, so I wanted to add something, and adding gifts seemed like a great idea. I die cut several gifts from red and light blue cardstock as well as red striped diagonal pattern paper. I also die cut the bow and the ribbon pieces from rose gold cardstock to match all of the other metallic die cutting on this card. Now I envisioned this door leading to a beautiful house with a vibrant blue facade. To create the facade of the house, I used Spellbinder's Cosmic Sky cardstock and I dry embossed it with a new slimline embossing folder called Striped Slimline. This is also a new product from the holiday or from the Christmas slimline collection designed to work perfectly for the slimline cards. I created a side folding card base. Now my card base measures three and three quarters by seven and a half inches. So it's not exactly the proper slimline size, but that's what worked for my card design. I, I could have made it the true slimline, but then I would have had to add a little bit something extra at the top and I didn't want to do that. So I just trimmed my card to, better, to be a better fit for the door. I foam mounted the door, the steps, and the side windows onto the card front. I really love how the blue added lots of contrast to this card and it helped the door pop. I also embellished the card with the new gems. Spellbinders has four new colors of gems. They have red, green, pink, and teal. And I used the gems in red for this card. I added those as little flower centers to the little faux poinsettias that I had on my card, as well as onto the bows. Now, I also added a couple of white gems from the previously released crystal gem mix, and that finished my card. So here's a look at the card I have for you today featuring the Open House collection from Spellbinders. I didn't get to use the topiary from this collection for this card, but I can't wait to sit down and create some more. I've already started cutting those pieces out. Thanks so much for joining me today. Love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.